in this lesson we are going to talk about the conductivity of materials okay first we are going to learn about the free electron theory and then we are going to talk about the band theory of solids okay so you must already be knowing about your free electron theory however this theory is not sufficient enough to answer why the conductivity of a material is affected by temperature or by radiation or by other external factors okay like addition of impurities okay so your free electron theory does not help you understand the phenomenon of conductivity in semiconductor for that what you need is your band theory so first we are going to quickly review the free electron theory and then we are going to move on to the band theory of solids that answers all of these questions okay my free electron theory tells me that the phenomenon of conductivity is due to presence of valence electrons okay so we already know what are valence electrons the valence electrons are the electrons that are present in the outermost partially filled shell okay so whenever a solid is formed especially a solid like a metal what happens is these valence electrons they detach themselves from the atom okay so if this is your nucleus and this is your valence electron then these valence electrons they become free okay now these valence electrons which have now become free they travel within the solid and this constitutes your current okay so these free electrons they travel only within the solids because the potential outside the solid for a stationary electron is higher as compared to the potential energy of a electron within the solid okay so it would not go out of the metal rather it stays inside the metal and it moves within the metal okay so this movement is going to be responsible for conduction of current in a metallic solid okay so what happens is whenever you have a electric field then these electrons tend to move in a direction opposite to the electric field okay so if you have an electric field like this then your electron is going to move like this and when this happens this constitutes your current okay so your free electron theory tells you that the valence electrons which become free during the formation of a solid are responsible for conduction of current whenever an external applied electric field exists okay just understand one thing under normal conditions your electrons are actually moving in a very high speeds because of the thermal energy which is inherently present okay so at every temperature you have a certain amount of thermal energy that's inherently present right so because of this inherent thermal energy your electrons are actually moving in all random directions at a very high speed okay since electrons are moving in all random direction there is no effective current flowing okay the speed of electrons under this condition is very high it is of the order of 10 to the power 6 meter per second okay so this motion due to the inherent thermal energy is known as your thermal motion of the electrons okay so your thermal motion is a random motion in which electrons are moving in all possible directions therefore there is no net current flowing okay now let's see what happens when you have an applied external electronic field okay so let's just say that i have an applied external electronic field which is like this okay now your electron tends to get accelerated in this direction okay so your electron is going to feel an acceleration in this direction is going to move in this direction however your electron is moving in a solid okay so within the solid you have your positive